In this question, we want to calculate the equilibrium constant K for a, a reaction and uh, we have been given the rate constant. So we have a rate constant here and a rate constant here. We know that both rates uh, are first order rates because we can tell that from the unit of the rate constant. We have in both cases time to the power of minus one, which indicates that we have rate constants, uh, rate orders, uh, which are first order rates. So what have we got? We have uh, reaction A is converted, let's say, into B, and for which the uh, equilibrium constant would be B over A. So that would be our equilibrium constant. And uh, we have this as a reversible reaction, so we can write A is converted into B with a rate constant of, let's say, K1, and B is converted into A at a rate constant K2. So uh, what we can now say, we know that at the equilib uh, to equilibrium uh, nothing happens. The reaction is neither going forward or backwards. It, it just everything comes to a standstill. So we can write the concentration of A per time or the change in uh, A equals. We look at the consumption of A, that's this reaction, so we would have minus K1 times A, and we know it's a first order reaction. Uh, but at the same time, we also get uh, A produced, so plus K2 times b to the power of 1, because again we know that this is a first order uh, reaction. So, and as I said, we know that in the equilibrium uh, there is no change, so we can say this is zero. So what we can do is we can uh, rearrange this equation uh, so that uh, we put everything with A to one side, everything with B to the other side, and let's say I put this term to this side, so we've got K2 times B equals K1 times A. And I bring the K to that side, I bring the A to this side, so I have B over A equals k1 divided by k2. Uh, so I can express our equilibrium constant k with just these two rate constants. Now uh, we were given uh, 0 0.744 per second and 0 0.22 per second as the rate orders, so we can put that in here equals 0. Point, uh, what was it? 744 second to the minus 1 divided by 0. 0.222 second to the minus uh, 1 and this would give us what we see is that the units cancel out, so that's quite nice, and we get k equals roughly 3.35. So we get the concentration B over A equals 3.35, and because k is in this case larger than 1, we can say that we have more of, of B present than A, so in this case the reaction A to B would be very much on the right hand side. We have far more B than we have A, and that gives us a k larger than one. So the, uh, the uh, reaction would lie on the right hand side of the equation. So I hope this makes